Good morning, y'all, and welcome back. So in our first video here, we showed you that we had this entire campground to ourselves. Well, guess what? It's Labor Day weekend, and it's no longer to ourselves. This place is now full. So we have a giant toy hauler there, one there, but more importantly, this man shows up with a Kenworth. That guy right there takes the cake for the best tow vehicle in this entire park. Now, anyway, we're all having a good time. We also have guests. We have cousin Audra in town. So we have Audra and Avery staying with us. We still have Phil and Lola over there with the tent for the kids. And Miss Thomas and Beverly are still up there. So anyway, let's go find out how Audra enjoyed her first night sleeping with us on our new beds by rvmattress.com. You are the first person to stay with us since we've installed our new mattress and toy hauler. What'd you think of them? They were very comfortable. Did you know they'll make a mattress for any type of bed, RV or house? No, I didn't. I thought they were only for the RV. No, you can get any kind of bed for any type of application. Oh, wow. So thank you to Brooklyn Bedding by RVMattress.com for sponsoring this video. So we recently added a new addition to our family and we knew we had to make some changes as far as sleeping arrangements go in our RV. So we recently removed the Happy Jack bed system and installed a second queen size bed. Now it came time to look for mattresses. We knew we wanted to go with RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding because we have the signature hybrid in our master bedroom for 18 months now. It's actually the RV King and we love it. Now when Brooklyn Bedding reached out to us and said they wanted to partner with us, it was a no brainer because we knew the quality and the comfort that their beds provided. We told them we would like a queen size bed Two of them, one for the top bunk and one for the bottom bunk, so we'd have matching beds in the toy hauler section of our RV. We've had one of these before, so we know how it works. They come rolled up in a box and they're vacuum sealed. And when you unroll it, it spreads out and expands and fills the entire bed space. Well, RVMattress.com is a broken bedding brand known for top of the line comfort and quality. Plus, their mattresses are made right here in the U.S. and shipped conveniently to you for free. They offer different firmness options, heights, and dimensions, even RV-specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. When we were searching for an RV mattress, we actually just needed it to fit a certain size. We wanted it to be a queen, but it couldn't be very tall because of the Happy Jack bed system. So we chose the 8-inch model because it allows the Happy Jack bed system to work just fine when picking the beds up into the storage position. Based on this information, they sent us the Dream Foam Essential Memory Foam in the 8-inch model, and we couldn't be happier. Our girls love it, and Audra, our new guest, also loves it as well. With RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, you get a 120-night sleep trial along with a 10-year warranty. RVMattress.com delivers your mattresses right to your door for free within the U.S. Plus, it comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. The best part about all this is that Brooklyn Bedding manufactures their RV mattresses in their own factory in Arizona. That means they're able to use premium materials at a reasonable price for you with no middleman to bring up the cost. We love our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out RVMattress.com. You can click the link below or go to RVMattress.com forward slash paving new paths and get 20% off your mattress with the code paving new paths. What Labor Day event the lake wouldn't be complete without some barbecuing. You can see we've already been barbecuing quite a bit but today we're cooking ribs. So we're going to use our pit boss which is actually pretty easy to set up we'll turn it on let it get hot i think the ribs we have will fit on one of these but if not we have our backup this is actually ours and this is phil and lolo's from their house and don't mind all that normally that's a lot cleaner but we have maybe in this video if not the next one all that's there's a reason for all that to be that way. There's many things in there we need to show you guys. Another good reason that Audra came to see us is because she was our delivery lady. She brought us lots of things. So you see all that? These are all things that we need for this camper that she brought to us because they were shipped to Phil and Lolo's house. So this bottom one right here, sneak peek, that's a whole video in itself and it may come out after this one. This right here, these are parts for repairs. And this right here is also a part for repairs. So we're probably gonna do some repairs while we're here at the lake, as well as show you what's in that box. But we're gonna get these ribs cooking, and then we're gonna go swimming in the lake. So we got the ribs on the pit. We use Cosmo Q's. If you ever try Cosmo Q for seasoning, it's awesome. This is actually the Honey Chipotle Killer Bee with a little steak seasoning. I think they look awesome. Now I got a funny question for y'all. On these ribs, 
Do you think the ribs are cut to fit the barbecue pit or the barbecue pit is built to fit the ribs? Which came first, the rib or the pit? It's awfully convenient that they're exactly the width of the pit or maybe, maybe the pit's the width of the ribs, who knows? So anyway, we're gonna let these guys cook all day so we'll have a good dinner tonight. And now I believe we're getting ready to go down to the lake and do some swimming. Ashlyn, where are we going? What are we going to do in the lake? Kayla, you ready to go swimming? Let's go. Hey, Alicia. So, hey. we're at the lake. We are. We're at the beach. What happened to your little kid over here? He fell asleep on the way. Uh-oh. <laughs> so much fun. He had to go to sleep as soon as he got here. He fell asleep on the way. This was supposed to be his first time in the, the water. Beach. I know, but doesn't he look cute? Look at him. He's getting set for his photo shoot by Audra. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's our so photographer know, this poor baby of the family. Already has so many pictures of him sleeping <laughs> before I was allowed to film. That's all you can do. Look at that. They're like staging little. him. Like, oh yeah, I'm a I'm a beach bum. <laughs> yeah, let me get my basket. Did you tell him you wanted to put some adult beverages beside him? I thought him? it'd be hilarious if we, if we stack beers all around him. Be like, he can't hang. <laughs> But the internet wouldn't like that. No, they would not. <laughs> Your first time at the beach, and this is probably going to be like all other times when you get older. <laughs> Party too hard, have to take a nap. Okay, Lou, is it cold? No, but it's kind of rocky. Is this fun? Yeah, yeah I can't. I'm trying to it's see. So cold. It's cold. Okay, Lou, you had to be the first one to touch the rope, didn't you? Did you get the rope? Because I yeah. can't swim. Who's going to hold the Barbies? Um, Hello. Hello. Can you hold my bars for me? Oh yeah, you want to hold my bars for me? I'm going to put them on your shoulder. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Barbie's on my shoulder. Barbie's on my shoulder. Where y'all going? Y'all leaving me to babysit these Barbies? What y'all got? What'd y'all get? We got a floaties. Y'all got floaties? Yeah. You gonna get in them? Hey, you think maybe you want your Barbies back now? You want your Barbies? Nope. No. I'm still babysitting these Barbies. Thank you. Do you want to go the water together? One, two, three. Where'd they go? Hey, Boo! Come here! Is this fun? Can I come? No. No, she said no. It's her float. You, you having a good time? Um, Looks like you're having a great time. Uh, uh, I, I, I can't fun. Well, come over here. Just put your feet down. You'll be fine. I see you moved him to his little personal cabana. Yes. He's all set up. He's got his fan, living his best life. I feel like you just set him up how you want to be on the beach. <laughs> right? Can I, can I take dibs on second spot in there? He is not in mood. I think he likes the outdoors. I think so too, the waves. It's he sleeps nice. outside better than he sleeps inside. Yep. How's the water? It's awesome. It's really, really kind of hot right here in the front. Yeah. But out there, it's, it's very nice. I'm gonna go check it out. You're gonna go check it out? It's my turn. Oh yeah? Yeah. You're on baby duty. Hey, Caden. What are you doing there? You enjoying this life? It's pretty nice. Looks super peaceful. I'd love to be able to take a nap on the beach. You get it made. You get to all, you get to do all the stuff that we dream of doing every day. We go outside to cook, you take a nap. We hang out in the evening playing games, you take a nap. We're watching TV, you take a nap. You go to the beach, you guessed it, you take a nap. Enjoy it. Because when you want to take naps, you won't be able to. But right now is the best time ever to be taking a nap. Hey, did he fall back asleep? No, he's awake. I see him blinking. He's got his sunglasses on. He's ready to get in the water for the first time. Oh my goodness, he's going to love it. He loves bath time. So. Well, this is not bath water. This is actually a little cold for him. You think so? I, I, over under, I bet it's, uh, it's he's not happy. I'm going to find a warm spot. Let's see. Oh, he flinched. <laughs> you like the water? Oh my goodness. 
Can you push his glasses up a little? There we go. What do you think, Caden? So you know you're a country boy. When your first experience of water is lake water instead of pool water. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing about it though. He knows where he comes from. <laughs> he doesn't seem to hate it. No. We should have got him a little float. No, here, come, here comes here comes the destructor herself. Hi. I've got my floaties and I'm here to party. Don't lose those glasses. <laughs> those target specials. They don't they don't float. No matter how much you pay for them. So high. <laughs> <laughs> Go Kayla. One, two, three. You're on camera. Don't let the camera down. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's turn. Here she goes. Oh, hold on. Woo! Yay! Hey, Phil. Hello. How's it going? I forgot my chair. I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, I've been looking for your chair. Actually, we you, you didn't forget it. We took it to the beach. Oh, okay. By the way, it's really sandy. It needs to be cleaned. <laughs> It may not support you the way it used to. So, we just got back from the beach and check out these ribs. Wow. Three hours right now. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull them off, and we're gonna wrap them in foil and put them back on. And we use the same sort of stuff we season with, which is the Cosmo Q's. So we have Cosmo Q seasoning, his barbecue sauce, and we use a little beer. Doesn't matter what kind you use. This time it's Corona, because that's what we got. That's what we got. We use that to uh i guess pour over the ribs and let them kind of steam in that foil for a few hours so we're going to take the ribs off wrap them up give them a little lubrication put them back on so we have the ribs wrapped up in foil we have all the barbecue sauce and beer and spice drizzled all over them now two more hours two more hours till you know what no no two more hours okay and then we unwrap them and let them smoke for one more hour you mean we're three hours away from Biden? We are three hours away from Biden. Oh. <laughs> we got plenty of chores to do though. We got things to do. So don't worry. You're gonna have to earn this appetite. Also, your chair is right there if you want to sit in it. Hey, I need a break. Here is something about our camper that I love that I didn't know I loved until we went to the beach. So we have this outdoor shower right here and it has hot and cold water. And what's cool about it is, is I can use it to spray this and all of our stuff off after going to the beach to prevent it from just not working anymore because of all the sand. So we're gonna spray all this stuff off. That way Phil's chair will be good as new. What do you think's in box number one? I have no idea. So this is not a repair, this is an upgrade. What this is, is a 90 degree connector. So right now, currently, our 50 amp plug goes in and then bends over. Okay. Kinda like this, all right? right? And one of our viewers, saw the video and pointed out to me they make a 90 degree connection so all this is is a 50 amp male screw on our locking connection to a 50 amp straight female locking connection so we're gonna go put this on and hopefully alleviate the stress of our normal 50 amp coming straight off and bending so this is what we're talking about whenever our viewers saw in a video that i have this connection right here that just comes off and drops straight down it causes a lot of tension right here on this cable and if you see this that's always gonna get worse. So, he told us about this and told us where we can get it. So thank you the viewer that told us about this. We're gonna install this right now. We have our new adapter installed and all it is is a 90 degree 50 amp male locking to a straight 50 amp locking female to this cord. And you can see how my cord has the bend in it from being bent over for the last 18 months. Anyway, Thanks to the viewer who told us about this. This is gonna be great. It'll, it'll actually prolong the life of this cord. So those two boxes, they were also in Audra's car, are for something I talked about recently. So remember in my video where I talked about the things that were wrong with our camper? And I told you that the awning lights in this one were starting to go out. But these two, this one and that one were just fine. So I wasn't gonna replace this one until these went bad. Well, guess what? They all went bad. Now, this one almost has no lights lighting up. This one has like a third, and the back one's the worst. For no reason at all, they all went out almost at the same time. So, that's enough LED lights to replace all three awnings. 
Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do it here because of this. I can't possibly get a ladder safely to get to that back awning. But the parts are here and it was convenient to order it now. And our next spot has very flat, very flat ground, like everywhere. So you guys probably won't see it replaced in this video just because I won't be able to get to the back one. But the next video, I'll probably replace all three of those and it's very easy and I'll show you how. So it's been a long day. We got a lot done, had a lot of fun at the beach and now the ribs are ready to eat. So the difference between these two is this one is dry and this one actually has a rib glaze on it from Cosmo Q. Welcome to Phil and Lolo's house. Super dark, y'all may not be able to see it. Hey Phil, wave to everybody from your chair. Y'all can see Phil, he's, hey. he's doing what he does best, sitting in the chair. So it's the day after Labor Day and the whole campground is cleaning out. Look at this crew leaving right here. Woo. They got matching cyclones and there's old Kenworth. I mean, I'm pretty sure he could pull all of us together. <laughs> he can hook all of us up and pull us out of here. And Dean. <laughs> Taking a shortcut. Let's see if he honk. No? Oh, he didn't want to honk for us. I'd have honked. Hey, Mr. Thomas. I noticed one thing about your camper. It seems super sweet. What's that? You have these super awesome jack pads. Hey, and I, I know a good place to get them. Do you? You build them yourself. Yeah, and I think we used your yard to do it. Yes, you did. Thank you, bud. <laughs> you tell them bye bye. I love you. I had fun. Are you are you gonna cry bye. again? Gonna cry <laughs> it's hard not to cry. Bye, bye Mr. Thomas. Enjoy. It. We had a bye, good Ms. time. Beverly. We had a great time. Bye. I've got on my paid and pad <laughs> shirt. You notice? She's <laughs> sporting. She about to pave a new path right back to the house. I'm Kevin's Kevin. I'm Thomas. Yeah. She You're said, I've seen them on the videos. I'm coming to say hi. <laughs> it feels well, like you I'm know everybody. Oh, well, more importantly, him. have you met Phil in Phil's chair? <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of a big deal right now. He's out of his chair. He's out of his he element. Is. Where's your chair? You left the chair? <laughs> it's in my eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls. Say bye to Mr. Thomas. Bye. Bye. Train car. <laughs> I wonder where he got that train horn. You think he knows a guy? We'll see him in Branson. <laughs> yeah. Branson, Missouri. <laughs> All right, get each other. No, okay, let's go to that Susie. <laughs> Watch. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, Kayla, throw him at Ashlyn. Oh, Ashlyn's using it as a water gun. Don't throw in the fire. <laughs> Try to knock it away from the bucket a yeah, little bit. Yeah, over, yeah. Grab Watch, watch Kayla, Kayla's just throwing them into the woods. Start it. Y'all pull on it. Oh. <laughs> Kayla, watch this. Watch this. Right here. Watch. Kayla, ready? Watch. Y'all got water balloons. Look what I got. Oh, Kayla. They're patiently waiting. <laughs> Let's get Mama and Grand Grand. Oh, Thank you. Oh, I Don't move. Hey, okay. you gonna cry again? No, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> She's gonna see her. I see her. Yeah. I see Aubrey. Aubrey, Aubrey. anytime I want to. <laughs> yeah. right and Miss Avery, I get to see her. Avery, right. give me a hug. You might be to my shoulder next time I see you. You be good. Do good uh, in school. You're right. <laughs> She's not leaving. I know. It. <laughs> yeah. She's oh, saying goodbye to Ashlyn. No. Well, She's, bye, girl. I was just, I was just giving fun. her sugar. Thank bye. you for everything. Okay. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.
Hey, and just like that, hey, we're trying to talk. We're enough honking from you. So just like that, where did all of our people go? I don't know. So go we're here. Phil and Lolo are here. Mr. No Thomas and Miss Beverly had to go home, and so did apparently the entire rest of the park. <laughs> so now, back to just us and the lake. Hey, we got your mom for a little longer. We do have my mom visiting for the rest of the day. Yes. We're done with all the family visits. My mom left. There's a few more campers in the park, but it's basically us and Phil and Lolo. And we just found out they bought the Wahoo board. Now, if you guys never seen us play Wahoo, it's gonna make it kind of intense. So we're about to have a Wahoo game between me and Alicia and Phil and Lolo. We told Phil he couldn't use his chair, but Wahoo is about to happen. What is going on here? Getting ready for a game of Wahoo. Also known as whoop that butt. Whoop that butt. <laughs> well, but probably not me whooping yours, but well, I'm gonna give it. How an are we effort. playing? Um, me and mom against you and dad. Oh, I got the power of Phil and his chair. Hey, Woo! baby. <laughs> no chair. Up. Oh, that's why I said earlier. I was like, Phil can't use his chair though. <laughs> that's well, all right. We're not gonna take any prisoners. What are you? Hey. Which, which dice are you using? I already got mine. All I know is every time I play. If I'm on your team, I've never won a game. I know. I should make you be my partner again. Kayla, we call this time to start the roll. Oh, time to start the roll. Time to start the roll. <laughs> oh, let's just. Two. Two. Oh, it's all for convenience. Your mom didn't even know she won. You're like, oh, let me turn the camera guess, on. Guess what? YouTube magic, I win. <laughs> that Woo! almost looked like it was planned, but it was not. Your mom didn't even know she won. <laughs> <laughs> Girls rule and boys drool. Hey. It's over. Oh, look, so all y'all running away. We cause lost. Because y'all think the camera can't film in the dark. <laughs> we but lost. me and Phil won. <laughs> Two to one. We did win one. That's winning. Winning is two we to one. We won the first one. We won the first one. That's all that matters. Well, who won the last two? Hey, hey it doesn't matter. Hey, nobody remembers second place. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phil. Yes. What trip to the lake would not be complete without some sunset fishing? There it is, and here we are. You think you're going to catch something? I know I'm going to catch something. Oh, yeah? You're that confident? Yeah, that's right. But where? Where's your chair? I know where the fish place they sell them up here. Oh, at Walmart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try the lake, though. You know what I miss most about the lake and fishing? It's right behind me. It's right behind you? Remember when me and you used to live on a boat? Oh, yeah. And go fishing all the time? All the time. This is the part about fishing that I hate to see. I hate, I don't hate it. I love it for them. But it makes me miss my boat. I do too, because we always caught fish out of that boat. Well, we just went, we, <laughs> if we didn't catch fish, we just moved until we found them. Yeah, yeah. Whereas here, we can only fish off this dock and off over there, and if we don't catch them here, we just come back tomorrow and hope they decide to swim by. Yeah. But every time I see these boats drive by, I go, man. Yeah, well, that was us. The memories. Because right now, if you came to my house, we have an hour before daylight, Ooh. we'd go put the boat in the water, and we'd go. It'd be hurting them. Yeah, we'd, we'd be, be hurting, hurting them. them. <laughs> it's still fun. But it's not as fun as they're about to have. No. I do miss having a bass boat. I do too. That's he, a good looking one right there. He used to have a skeeter. That was uh, French for we catch fish. Oh, wait, I don't think it's French for we catch. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I, you, that's the part I miss the most. Yeah. They come out of the water and just be gone. Ooh. Bye. He gone. Even if you don't catch fish, he's still having a great time. I guarantee. All it is, all a bass boat is, it's a it's a Corvette for the water. <laughs> That's, That's all it is. If you can't catch fish, at least you look cool driving around. That right there is why we love coming back to the lake. I love seeing the sunset on the water. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us here at Toledo Bend. Thanks for joining us. See you guys next time.